use a multimeter set to DC gear to test each module's voltage. 49.5 volt, 49.6 volt, 49.5 volt, 49.6 volt, 49.5 volt. A protective sleeve covers each positive and negative output part. Begin to connect in series, pay attention to the need to grab the two wires, so as to avoid the other end of the wire touching the positive and negative output parts. The positive pole of the bottom battery is connected to the negative pole of the penultimate battery to achieve R sets of parallel connection. After the wire is connected, the protective cover fastens its terminal. Repeat this operation to connect the remaining three batteries in series. Don't let go of the cable when it's not connected. Then we test the whole battery system voltage. 247.9 volt. Connect the general positive and general negative of the battery system to the main control module. The positive pole of the battery at the top is connected to the positive pole of the main control module. The negative terminal of the battery at the bottom is connected to the negative terminal of the main control module. The protective cover fastens the positive and negative poles. Connect the communication line. E to E, D to D. Complete the connection. Turn on the system. After flipping the switch, wait for a few seconds and there will be a sound of the machine starting. <laughs> Measure the battery system voltage of the main control module, 247.8 volt. The communication port of the main control can be connected to the host computer or the inverter. Use communication box with cables connect with laptop and main control communication port. Number 1 to 3 tier 5 battery information can be monitored on software. 